Cotton storms have created havoc all over the world, destroying commerce and causing the loss of countless lives. Of this disturbance, we face the destruction of the world. Tell you, Colton, the whole disturbance is caused by the variations in the orbit of the moon. And I repeat, Reynolds, not the moon, but the sun. Sun. Oh, the absurd. Blue spots on the sun couldn't remain undetected, but something must be causing these flood tides and earth shock. Just a promotion scheme. I tell you, gentlemen, my instrument will not fail. I'm getting it. Gentlemen, I'll stake my life on it. The center of this disturbance is here. But that is unexplored territory. Granted, but that is where it is. That's absurd. To find nothing but jungle, rough country. I believe in you and your discovery. But what is the next step? To go there, find the source of this disturbance, and stop it. Go ahead, Bruce. Count on me for everything you need. You will lack nothing. The resources of the entire nation are at your disposal. Thank you, Commodore. Thank you, General. I shall prepare an expedition at once. If you succeed, you and all your associates will deserve the gratitude of the world. Gordon, allow me to become a member of your expedition. I have believed in you from the first. Thank you, Professor Randall. And I too, Gordon. And Dr. Cope. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, where's your native? <coughs> native? All gone. <coughs> we were attacked by giants. Oh. Giants. Why, you were delirious, Chet. Let me get you another slug. I'm not delirious. But they were like nothing human. They were too big. Too awful. Now, take it easy, Chet. Take it easy. Where did these giants, as you call them, take your natives? Into the jungle. Towards Magnetic Mountain. You were saying things. Forget it, my boy. Forget it. Forget it. Welcome, gentlemen. My name is Butterfield. This is my post. Bruce Gordon. How do you do, sir? Colton. Reynolds. Pleasure, sir. Jerry Delaney. How are you, yes. Mr. Delaney? Will you come in and have a little drink? Thanks. Well, this is Mr. Andrews. How are you? Gentlemen, make yourself at home. What brings you here to the heart of Africa? Uh, you may not have heard of the disasters that are wrecking the outside world. Hmm. What is it, another war? You may call it that. The enemy so far has been invisible, and that's what we're here for. Why to this part of the country? This is near the spot indicated by my magnetic detector. You must be speaking about that cursed magnetic mountain. What is this magnetic mountain? A mountain where the blacks... Why, are. there's a mountain near here full of iron sort of a natural lightning rod. Lightning rod? There are, there are horrors there you never dreamed of. Giants! Black giants. The biggest, most terrible creatures you ever saw. Oh, don't mind him. He was the victim of ordinary raiders. Raiders nothing. I tell you, they were giants. And they headed for the mountain. That night, I saw it flare up like a thousand searchlights. I've got it. Jerry, go set up the detector. This mob may be the center of this disturbance. Right. Come on, Reynolds. OK. Andrews, you talk too much. have already discharged enough electrical energy into the atmosphere to destroy a hundred cities. I'll have this cosmic condenser hold enough power to destroy the world. If I desire it, when I invented these instruments, I did it for the benefit of mankind. Yes! I brought you here to create the things I want. That fly me. And you know the consequences. Razov, take Manus to his laboratory. Yes, Master. Apollon, 
Stand by the enlarging machine. Yes, sir. Can't we do something to keep him from creating more living dead men? My dear, unless I obey his slightest wish, he may injure you. Uh, we had better go on. Zolok is watching. For humanity. I'm in the brain destroyer. Yes, master. Go, go, go. Go to your post. <gasps> you can't think except as I think. You must obey my command. You are my slave. Have Vernius brought here. Yes, master. Dr. Manius? The enlarging machine is ready. Oh, father. Father, must you obey? Nadia, my dear, we are in his power. Just be patient. Come, doctor.
Arise! You are my slave! Your name is Fear. <clears throat> Garzo, the emblem of the lost city. Yes, Master. Do as Garzo tells you. <clears throat> Take him to his quarters. Yes, Master. Come. Have along. Bring another subject. Yes, Master. Gordo. Yes, Snatcher? I don't see how you can be so heartless. Zolak is my master. Why is he your master? He promised to make a man of me like other men. Big, strong. Yes. Make you a living dead man like those poor slaves. No, no. You'll see. Everything connected, All set. All right, turn on the switch. somewhere in this neighborhood. Turn on the amplifier. Yes, Master. Interference. Magnetic mountain, all right. Just the place we're looking for. What about you now, Bruce? We'll start at once. Those strangers have located my lost city. They must be stopped. Get up along, quick. Yes, Master. No, don't talk to me of marriage again. The master calling Apollon to the control room at once. You'll change your mind. Father. Father, Apollon's been talking about marriage again. Don't it here. I just had some big news. White men are coming this way. White men? Yes, yes. From outside? Yes. They're coming here? Yes, sir. Oh, if I could only warn them of their peril. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Father. Yes. They'll help us escape. Unless they also become Zola's victims. Butterfield must have talked. Butterfield? Ah, oh, he wouldn't dare talk. He wouldn't dare mention our presence here. You know why. What are your plans, Master? Trap them in the hut of the mysterious voice. Get everything ready. Yes, Master. Take a squad of joints and deploy them around the hut. And capture those white men? Yes, if they escape the trap. 
Yes, master. Come on. Fire. Come to the control room. I'm not going. But you must. You better go, my dear. you fellas. We're on our way and getting close. Yeah, and getting hot. Bruce, I don't like the look of things. Andrews may have been right about the giants. Too many of our blacks have deserted already. Just the same, we're going on. Scream and call for help. When I say go ahead, and keep screaming and calling for help. Help! Scream! Understand? Yes. Bridgie! Give your men a rest. Oh, what? Thank you. Go ahead. Help! Please help! Hurry! Hey! Hurry! That sounds like a white girl's voice. Help! Please help! Come on, Jerry, let's find out. I'll tell you what we'll do. So this. Move! 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 That must be the place. Come on, let's go. It's inside. Thought sure that voice came from here. Bruce, this is a haunted hut. Allen. <laughs> that cry was human. That laugh. The laugh of a madman. It's a nut house. I I'm going to get out of here. Bruce. Where does that light come from? There's nothing to do with that girl's cry for help. I'm going to get out of here. No. We've got to find that girl. Come on.
No, it isn't. It's flesh and blood. One of those giants Andrew spoke about. Look, there's more of them. Giants or no giants, we've got to find that girl. Subway, don't it? Yes, it does. Bruce! Another door! Come in! Gentlemen, this is indeed a pleasure. May I ask who you are? My name is Zola. I'm the master of this place. Where are we? You're in the lost city of the Ligurians. As you may know, the Ligurians were master scientists. I'm the last of that race, carrying on the electromagnetic traditions of my people. Jerry, I'm right. We found it. What do you mean by that statement? Your electrical experiments have been causing disasters throughout the entire world. Well, then I'm beginning to accomplish my purpose. You speak as one who is familiar with electricity also. Are you... I'm an electrical engineer. Your name? Bruce Gordon. Jerry Delaney. Perhaps you'd like to look over some of my electrical equipment. Uh, yes, if we may. Babylon, have one of my slaves show these gentlemen the city. Yes, Master Zolak. We'll go. Show these gentlemen around. <laughs> I want that detector he's invented. And I'll use his knowledge for my own purposes. But he is not like Manius. There isn't a daughter to hold over his head as a threat, Master Zolak. He'll do as I say, or I'll put him in the enlarging machine. I'll control his brain, even if I have to make him a white giant. Are you the girl that cried for help? Yes, but I was tricked into doing this. We can't stay here. You come with me while we have a chance. Yes, but how about that giant? Oh, he'll keep going. You follow me. Come. This is my father's laboratory. Bruce Gordon. Dr. Manus. My assistant, Jerry Delaney. Manus. In regard to those two strangers that just entered your laboratory, the man Gordon is an electrical engineer. How does he know we're here? Television. He's invented a magnetic detector. Is there no way to shut that off? I have short circuited him. Quick now, while we have a little privacy. Could he hear as well as see us? 
Oh, he has television so highly developed that he can see and hear anything within a radius of a thousand miles. Then he saw us at the trading post, operating our detector. Yes. How do you know he's not looking at us now? Oh, I secretly invented this instrument to shut him off temporarily. Father. Father. I was kicked in delivering them here. We must save them. Forget that. We'll help each other. Doctor, we came here to determine what has been causing these electromagnetic disasters throughout the world. And now that you have found out, we're going to stop it. Yes. Yes. We must. Master, here are the two men we captured in the jungle. Bring them in. Master Zolak. Master, what shall we do with them? What do we always do with spies? We're, We're not, not spies. spies. What brought you to Africa? Find the source of certain electrical disturbances and correct them. A very ambitious undertaking. Your information interests me. Gentlemen, sit down. Doctor, why haven't you and your daughter tried to escape from Dolok's power before? Only one man ever escaped from Zolok. This place is guarded by a hundred different death-dealing devices. Oh, if you can help us to get away, we'll be grateful to you for life. Where is this amplifier you told me about? In the powerhouse attached to one of the dynamos. Take me to it. It must be destroyed. Oh, this black giant has instructions to keep me in this room. I'll take you. He, he, he won't bother me. You would risk this danger? Of course. I'd do anything to get away from here. What if Zolak discovers it through his television? Uh, my control will take care of that. Jerry, you stay here with Dr. Manus. We'll be right back. Ooh. If Gordon and his assistant are all you say they are, I'd better let them go no further. Avalon, join Gorzo. And have the enlarging machine made ready. Yes, Master. Magnus. Oh, stupid fools. To think they can match their wits against Sora, the master of the world? What have you done to my television machine? Manus! And you know better than they are. You're mistaken. We're not friends of Bruce Gordon. That's the truth, Zolak. I'd swear to it. Clarence! Get out! Turn around! Gordon and his assistant. Gorzo, bring Manus and Natchez to the control room. B. 
This is the new freezing gun I secretly invented. It freezes every range of etheric vibration. Life. Power. Life itself. <laughs> it's quite a contraption, isn't it? Who go? Come. Dr. Manius, the master wants you. But he's not going. Ogo, seize him! Control. Hugo, go to your post outside the door. The young electrical wizard. Thought you were smart enough to fool me, eh? Zulak, my efforts are for the good of humanity. And I'm not going to stop until I destroy this place. I'm going to do a little destroying myself. When I get through with you and the ivory hunter there, you'll be slaves of my will. Living dead men.
so glad. Why, that was a narrow escape. It sure was. Now see if we can find your father. Yes. Yes. Hello. So I call it. I'm in the dungeon. Apollon, Corso, quick, I'm in the dungeon. I'm coming, Master Zola. Brut, Brut's father's gone. I wonder what could have happened to him. Oh. Where are you going, Master? I must find him. You wait here. Jerry, now find your father. Come on, Jerry. Corso, I'm in the dungeon. Why don't you open the door? You know the combination. It's your own invention. Oh, you ought to give me orders. I'm coming, Master Zoloff. What about us? Yes. Will you stay here? I'll have you out in a minute, Master. They're gone, Master Zolak. Find them and get those other two that just left here. Yes, Master. Come on, Gozo, three your post. Yes, Master. There goes Manus. Follow him. We can get him out of the lost city. His scientific knowledge will be worth a fortune to us. Come on. Bruce, I can't find him anywhere. We've got to find him. Oh, Father. Father, dear, I was so worried. Uh, where is Bruce Gorton and his assistant? Why, they're out looking for you. Well, gentlemen, you've startled us. Are you perhaps members of the Bruce Gorton party? Yes, uh, this is Professor Reynolds. I'm Dr. Colton. I am Dr. Manus. This is Nadja, my daughter. We are looking for a way out of here. Can you help us? Perhaps. How? Through the tunnel. But, Father, the tunnel door is charged with high voltage. It, it means certain death. Not with my new freezing gun. It destroys high voltage, paralyzes all electrical energy. Fine. Let me have that gun. No, no, no. It's too dangerous. I must operate it myself. Where does the tunnel lead to? To the jungle. We'll go find Bruce and Jerry. And I'll go with you. And I, too. Dr. Manius, sir. Uh, we had better stay here in case the boys return. Did you find him? No, Matt. Where's your father? Where's your father? He's in his laboratory. Apollon, bring Magnus to my office. Yes, ma'am. I want the truth. Have you given these strangers any information about my city? I'm no scientist. You can't deceive me. I'll get the truth out of you. Don't be a fool, Bruce. Can't you see that that girl's in cahoots with Zolak? We'll find out. Come on. Oh. 
Well, now what? I'll tell you. We'll go back to the laboratory. Perhaps Dr. Manus can tell us how to open this door. Come on, let's go. I'm going to photograph your thoughts in a record shot. And if you've lied to me, this is a devitalizer. Dr. Manus, you have made amazing discoveries. Yes, yes, yes. Come, Doctor. Bruce, Jerry, and your daughter are waiting at the tunnel entrance. Nat just said not to forget the freezing gun. Why didn't you get the gun? Manus absolutely refused to even admit see it. Now, Jadier, Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the tunnel entrance. In case of error, meet me there. Now, Jadier, Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the tunnel entrance. We've got to get out of here. Come on, come on. How dare you treat me like this? We're doing it for your own good. Keep come on, boy. Well, I guess we're lost, Bruce. This place all looks alike to me. We'll find Manius's laboratory if it takes all day. Dr. Manius, is it safe to go through? Absolutely. But my daughter and your friends, we can't leave without them. They'll be along presently. Come. Where's Dr. Menus? Release me and I'll tell you. Speak up. Where is... <laughs> Call and Randall, pick him away. So you think your new friends are going to escape, eh? I'll fix that. Quick, Jerry, before we're trapped! Stay there in the chair and learn to speak the truth. If I only had a crowbar! That won't do the trick. Wait. Where's your light key? I don't know what you mean. Do you don't have one. Well, I'll show you. Ah, ah, get him, Terry. Get down. Come on. Get him. I got it. Right got here. it. That's right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> here we are. That's it. Now let's get, get out of here. All right? Yes, yes, I'm all right. Where did Reynolds and Colton take your father? Isn't he still in his laboratory? We didn't see him there. Only Apollon. Sure, he was all tied up. 
Well, it's fine, on, Father. Did this? Both the strangers, you captain, quick and timey. Apollon, Gorzo, attention. Man has just escaped through the charge door. Apollon, you take the giants and capture them. And send Gorzo here at once. Natchez, dear. Father left me a message. Watch. Natchez, dear. Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the entrance. In case of error, meet me there. Do you know where it is? Yes. It's at the end of corridor 10. Let's go. They've gone on. Then they're waiting for us outside. We must follow. What's this, Natcha? Well, that's the freezing gun my father invented to nullify the electric charge on the door back there. Looks like it's broken. It is. Oh, it's no use to us now. Let's hurry. Come, Olga. Look. There's Dr. Manus. He's the one that's captured your men and made them brainless slaves. Maybe he did it. Manus, I leave you to the vengeance of these people. For all you've done to them, and to me. But let me explain! Silence! To the altar of sacrifice. Uh. Avalon! Zolak, Holly! Avalon! Can I be of any assistance, Master Zolak? Apollon. Manius is being tortured to the order of sacrifice. Go. Rescue him. Yes, Master. Come or go. What are those drums? They're the drums of death. The drums of death? 
What do you mean, Natcha? Someone's being tortured by the natives. Let's hurry and find out who it is. Right, you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Butterfield, if Manus dies, I'll destroy your entire tribe. Well, so we have company, eh? You cowardly renegade. Why did you have your black sack on? You're lucky you're not in the same spot as the old scientist. What do you mean? What has happened to him? <laughs> He's the guest of honor, a little ceremonial offering. But don't let that bother you. Let's drink to his health. <laughs> Turn on switch 31. Yes, master. <laughs> Oh, shave. I'll take a match. Come on. All right, doctor. Hoko, come. Over. There we go. You all right? Oh, let's take it easy, doctor. Everything will be all right now. the natives to torture me. Is this true? Whatever it is. Butterfield, if you cause this man suffering, you're going to pay. <coughs> well, he tortured my natives, didn't he? My father was not to blame for that. He was under the power of Zolak. That's the truth, Butterfield. Ask them. They know. They were in the lost city. Oh. Come on, Doctor. Father. Butterfield, this man has got to have immediate attention. All right. Take him to my quarters. Come on, Doctor. You're all right, Father, dear. Here, Doctor. Let me get you. Yes, sir. I tell you, Reynolds, Butterfield's a dangerous man. I know it. We must be careful what we say. All right. Listen here, Butterfield. Sit down. I want to have a little chat with you. So you were in the Lost City. What do you know about it?
Nothing. Didn't you see him making the giants? No. We weren't there long enough. You're lucky. Show these men to the quarters next to mine. You'll be comfortable there. Thanks. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Are you sure you know nothing about the lost city? Absolutely. Of course you're right, my boy. Look, Bruce, it just fits. Oh, I think it isn't so far away after all. Where did you get that? Oh, in the other room in there. Well, it just fits. Yes. Are you sure, Doctor, that Reynolds and Colton forced you to leave the lost city? Yes. These men are not to be trusted. Yeah, let me tell you that Butterfield isn't our only enemy. Bruce, we must get away. Don't worry, Natcha. Come on, Jerry. What are you going to do? I'm going to talk to Reynolds and Colton. I'll be right back. We've got to get Manius away from here before Butterfield learns that he can restore the mental powers of those giants. Look. There goes Gordon toward the trading post. I wonder if Manius told him how we forced him to leave the lost city. We'll have to convince Gordon that the old man's out of his mind. We'll have to work fast. I tell you, I heard the old man say he could not only restore the minds of these living dead men, but he could make giants with full mental power. With a regiment of men like that, Africa is mine. Well, how's the old doctor? He's getting a little better. That's fine. Can you tell me what hut I can find Professor Reynolds and Dr. Colton? Yeah. They're over there. Thanks. Come on, Jerry. Say, what's the idea of fooling those guys? Colton's in that hut over there. You're so dumb. I get you. Up right Well, that's that. But how about Colton and Reynolds? I'll take care of them. I've got it. You fix it with the natives, and I'll get the girl out of the way. You know, Andrews, if I can get into the lost city and get Zolok out of the way, and then what? I'll bring the old man back with me, and I'll make all the giants I need. That's right. You could. Yeah. That's just what I'll do. Well, Zulok ordered me to report to you. He said you would find use for this paralyzing gun. Be careful. It is very dangerous. dangerous. Stand by. I'll go to the village and get Manius. I'm so sorry, Dad. But it, it, it's much better than, than being with Zolak, isn't it? Bruce wants to see you. But where is he? He's at the trading post, pre preparing to leave. But, Father... Oh, uh, I'll stay here with him. Why, well, I'm all right. You better go. Well, I won't be long. You stay here. I've got an idea. Wall open, I think I can make it. Come on. All right. Come here. It's like a roll, oh, Jerry. Right now.
You know the trail, Fungo? Yep. Come on up. All right. Get going. Fungo! Fungo! Reynolds said he was waiting here to see me. Well, he's not here. Well, that's strange. I don't understand, Miss... Chet, those birds are up to something. Come on. Phew. And they call this Africa, huh? What a spot. Wait a minute, what's this one? You making any headway there, Jerry? Just a minute. That Butterfield's supposed to be a white man. White man? Our guy's just yellow. Grenade, right? Yeah. What happened? Colton. Grenades took nine years. Yeah. Get the natives. Time to pick up my trail. All right. Oh, well. And get that other one. Jerry, I. Well, yeah, maybe I can help you. Hold it up. That's good. Oh, boy. Here, Rip. I get over there. Mr. Butterfield. Mr. Butterfield. You stay here. You hit Butterfield Trail. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bruce. Reynolds is dead. What? Who killed him? Colton. Oh, and father's gone, too. Then Colton's got your father. Come on. No, you don't. Go ahead, Bruce. I'll take care of this. Beach come up. You bloody... Lead this way. Come on. Uh. Where's your father? I don't know. You remember when you're in the law city?
friend. Whose camp is this? Benelli's. Benelli here? Take me to him. Oliver. Waterfield. How are you, Chief L.A.? Sit down. What brings you here this time of year? I'm looking for slaves. Giant slaves. Giant slaves? What do you mean? I've heard that giants twice the size of ordinary slaves have been seen here. <laughs> My dear chief, somebody's been kidding you. You mean no such giants exist here? I have no reason to lie to you. Then my long journey has been in vain. It sure looks that way. Refreshments. Jerry! Rose! Where'd you been? I like at last. Did you find any trace of Dr. Menus? No, but I ran across this bunch of Arabs here. Maybe Butterfield's natives have found them and taken them back to the village. We must go and find out. No. I better go alone. It'll be safer for you to go back to the Arab camp with Jerry. I'll bring your father there. Uh, Bruce is right, Natcha. Please be careful. For my sake. I will, Natcha. Come on, Mahala. Let's go. Come on. Mm. Apollon. Apollon answering, Master Zolak. Where's Manus? I believe he's in the native village. Well, get him here at once. White man and woman outside. Bring them in. These people are friends of mine. The father of the young lady is uh, uh, an explorer. I wondered what such a beautiful girl was doing in a jungle. Apollon! Apollon! This is Apollon. Manus and Corso have been captured by the Arabs. They're in Zone 15. Find them. Yes, Master.
you will excuse me. I will be back soon. Say, what's the idea of lying about Magnus being an explorer? I had to lie. Manella is a slave trader. He's here to get the giants from the lost city. If he finds out that your father can create giants, he'll take him to the slave coast. Oh. I speak to you privately. About what? A matter that may mean a fortune to you. Well? The old man over there is the greatest scientist in the world. He is the man who creates giants out of ordinary natives. So, my friend Butterfield lied to me. Butterfield? He's a dangerous man, Chief. He wants to get the old scientist for himself. I see. We can work together. Have the old man make slaves for us and become rich. My men will take care of you. Thank you. Who has let you I have provided attendance for you. Thank you. My friend, one moment. Sit down. As you say, no giants exist here? They don't exist. I swear it. My good friend Borafir would not lie to Ben Alai. I know. Of course. Oh, of course. Little more tea, eh? Thanks. No more tea. Will you have a little liquor? No liquor, sir. Could I have a little tea? A very well, sir. We must get out of this camp. The Arab chief intends to keep you a prisoner, to make giants. I suspected as much. I have a plan. Bruce is looking for you. He has the light gun. And if I can find him, he might be able to help us. Be careful. We may be watched.
What's the idea? It is not wise to lie to Benali. Match. Sit down. Tell me, how these old men make giant slaves? Menus alone has the secret. How do I know all this is true? I've seen him do it. How am I going to be taken care of on this deal? Oh, I'll show you. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> you ask to be taken care of. Go! What are you trying to put over on me? The same thing you try to put over on me. Listen, my natives know that I'm here. And if anything happens to me, they'll wipe you out. I'm not afraid of your natives. Do you know a man named Kulton? Yeah. I know the double-crosser. What about him? Oh, my men are taking care of him. Try to double cross me. <laughs> I don't care what I have you did say you can't go into post. I say you're going in and have a drink with me. That's right, Butterfield. With Dr. Manus in our hands, we can make millions. Well, Gordon, I'm glad to see things my way. There's no question that we stand a chance to make millions. What? Go on, beat it. Butterfield's in there. Go on. And I think, Butterfield, we ought to cut Andrews in on this. I wish he was here now so we could settle the whole matter. I got you covered, Andrews. Cross over to that table and sit down. Whoa. What's the big idea? Or how did you get here? Never mind where I come from. The big idea is, where is Butterfield and Dr. Manu? Where are they? I, I thought Butterfield was in this room. That's what you thought. Do you trust me? Come on, come on, where are they? Andrews, I'm asking you for the last time, where are they? I don't where know.
Now, oh, you tricked me, eh? Now I, now I got you. Madam, what are you doing here? I was on my way to get you, and the tiger chased me. Well, why did you leave the Arab camp? Father and Gazo are prisoners there. Prisoners? Yes. The Arab chief wants father to make giant slaves for him. You've got to get your father out of that camp at any cost. Come on. I want to ask you about those giants. Yes? I understand you create Superman. That is true. Then you make the giants, and I will sell them. And between us, we can make a fortune. I am not interested in riches. My discoveries were made to benefit these natives, not to destroy them. I have sent for your daughter. Perhaps uh, she can change your mind. The Arab village is down below here. You wait here. We better get back out of sight. You understand, Natcha. It's our only chance. Are you willing to take it? Of course, Bruce. I'd do anything to save my father. You take this. But what about you? I'll be all right. And don't be afraid to use it. I won't. It was necessary, but, but where'll I put it, Bruce? Let's put it right in here. I'll cover it up with a scarf. Natasha, you're a brave girl. And you, Bruce. You knew your daughter had escaped. Yes. I knew it and I am thankful for it. <laughs> Take him away. Yes, Master Zolak. Apple on answering. What did you find out? Monius and Gorzo are still in the camp. Well, don't leave there until you get them. Yes, Master. White girl box with man. 
Bring her in. Ah, the beautiful girl has come back. Take care of the lady. My name is Bruce Gordon. Bernaldi. I found this girl wandering around the jungle was half conscious. She mentioned something about a camp, so I brought her here. I'm forever in debt to you for bringing her back. My pleasure, Bernaldi. shall be my honor guest. Anything you want, just ask for it. Thank you, Benali. Unless you persuade your father to make giant slaves for me, I shall take drastic measures. Oh, no. No, Ben Ali. My father suffered enough. What wilt thou have, thy honorable sap? Jerry, you old... Are... Shh! Not so loud. Baby. Listen, we've got to get Dr. Manus out of here. Yes, but how about Natural in that old Beezus tent? She's got the paralyzing gun. Oh, well, I hope she starts using it. Beginning on that Banami guy. Listen now. Go out and see if the coast is clear. We've no time to lose. Hurry. Jerry, you take that into the camp. Now look around here.
stay here. Anyone enters this tent, destroy him. Anyone enters this tent, destroy him. Anyone enters this tent, destroy him. All right? I'm fine. Are you all right? I, I got to slap the jaw there with a foot or something. Listen, we've got to find Dr. Manus. Cut over this way and I'll go this way. Okay, Bruce. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 